Greg Lathrop. Jay is a perennial music force in Western North Carolina. He's part of the Lazy Birds, the Appaloochans, and he's a one-man band. A truly fine singer and songwriter, Jay has many recordings to his credit. As the curator of the series Local Live here at Whitehorse, Jay brings some of the most talented performers in our region, including Jay himself. We're very glad to have a live audience once again. Uh, thank you so much for being here in the audience. Please feel free to make lots of noise. Yes. And we're very pleased to be presenting this special online streaming edition of Local Live tonight. So if you're watching this on Facebook or on the Whitehorse website, please be, be uh, sure to share it with everyone you know. Now tonight's guests, Chris Rosser stands tall, literally, among those who have a huge influence on music in Western North Carolina. I bet, bet he gets sick of the tall jokes, too. He's produced literally hundreds of recordings and releases his own solo projects regularly. As a founding member of Free Planet Radio, he's played all over, including a recent 20 concert tour of the People's Republic of China. Free Planet Radio stands iconic as a magnet for the music of the world. Greg Lathrop is a very fine singer and songwriter. He spends much of his time as a holistic nursing specialist. He works frequently with those coming to grips with the end of life, and his goal is to cultivate ease at a time when unease might otherwise be pervasive. It makes his music land on a deeper note. So without further ado, here's your host, Jay Brown. Thank you, thank you, thank you folks. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, it's wonderful to be here. Uh, welcome in here out there to another installment of Local Live. Uh, this happens first and third Monday of every month, and uh, we always try to bring world-class local music to you, and tonight is no exception with these two towering figures, Greg Lathrop and Chris Rosser. <laughs> um, Greg, if you don't know him already, is uh, a wonderful storyteller. He's a, he's a great uh, singer-songwriter, plays a great piano. Um, he is a keeper of some of the ancient wisdom, especially from, I, th I believe, the Cherokee tradition. Uh, he is, as far as I'm concerned, uh, one of the best ever at the uh, Native American flute. And we'll get to hear all of uh, some of that, some of all of that tonight. Um, he's just a, a wonderful human being. He's, he's great at everything except disc golf. He's pretty much average at that, uh, I know from experience. But other than that, poor, he's, poor. he excels. Um, wonderful to be on the stage with you tonight, Brother Greg. Jay, thanks very much. It's good to be here. So we're going to start out with a, uh, a song that I wrote a little while back. Um, and this song is basically, uh, the story of this song is, uh, had an opportunity to help my, some in my family, my grandfather in particular, with end-stage dementia. And uh, through that experience and through the experience of just watching this as something that happens with a, uh, a lot of us in this world, I asked myself the question, and the question was, what would I tell myself in the future if I was starting to forget? So the, the nature of this is me talking to myself at a time when maybe I've forgotten about the things that have been important to me in my life for some reason. What would I tell my future self? A letter from Greg to Greg in the future, which is next. <laughs> This is called, If I Knew Then. If I knew then What I don't remember now I'd tell myself a thing or two How my life has been Soft and gentle kisses from the women I have loved Bouncing children on my knees Watch them laugh out loud If I knew then What I don't remember now I'd tell myself I'm not these bones That I've been walking in I'm life without a limit I'm love that's unabound 
There's nothing to be fearful of There's angels all around I'm held within the arms of love Forever and beyond My life has been a joyful song There's nothing left undone I'm with you now through the end I remember when I knew then what I don't remember now. I tell myself a thing or two about how my life has been. Tears of sorrow from my loss reflects the joy that's been. Standing on a mountaintop, arms raised to my holy kin. I'm held within the arms of love forever and beyond my life has been a joyful song and there's nothing left undone i'm with you now through the end i remember when Thank you. Thank you very much. No, that wasn't. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, about 20 years ago, my brother showed up at my home here in Asheville, and. Uh, he had a letter with him, and the letter that he had was uh, a letter that he had written to his, his second daughter, Alex. Um, and the reason he wrote her the letter is a love letter from a father to a daughter when he realized that uh, she would live her life with a diagnosis of autism. And so he just poured his heart out in this letter, writing it for himself and for her. She's flourishing now. She's in her mid-20s. And she still holds that letter, and she reflects on it often. And when he brought it to me, he said, uh, you think you can write a song about this letter? And I said, well, the answer is always maybe. And so I said, maybe. <laughs> and, and then uh, I sat with it, and, of course, the song came. And so I didn't record it. Uh, I didn't have the equipment to do that at the time. I just had a piano. And so for a few years, um, this was what uh, my nieces and nephew would ask me when I'd come to my brother's house with his wife. And they'd say, Uncle Greg, can you play that song? And so I'd play this song. And it was all about Alex and her father's love for her and his other children as well. Of course, they loved it. And... Uh, so this went on for a while, and then there came a time when I needed to be with my brother for another reason. He was in the, the last days of his life. He had diagnosed, his name is Kirby. Kirby was diagnosed with a terminal cancer, and uh, so he asked me if I'd be with him uh, during his last days. And of course, I said I would. And uh, so, as was the routine, they had a piano. I was sitting at the piano while we were holding vigil with my brother. And they said, Uncle Greg, can you play that song? And I said, yeah, I can play that song. And as I was playing it for him, I realized I was also singing this to my brother. So this was an interesting full circle moment 
that this song was written. And this is uh, called Alex's Song. Life is full of surprises takes us down the roads unknown, unknown to ourselves and those around us. Are you alone? Beyond our thoughts of what life is, more gifts than hearts could explore. Watching you travel so far Are you alone? Take me to that place Where I can know you Take me to that place Where there's no harm I want to walk on the shores of your mind to be in your world in you and mine the change you've brought to those close to you is more than hoped for in my life journey on for you are surely blessed you're not alone the smile of God is your place in me to show the others of your power to know where you are watching you travel so far I'm not alone Take me to that place Where I can know you Take me to that place Where there's no harm I want to walk on the shores Of your mind Good to be here with you, Jay. Yeah, man. Isn't that lovely? Having a fun time. This is a little bit nicer piano than the one in my basement when we were here. Yeah, <laughs> uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I figure if we can make the song sound good on that piano, That's right. then uh, we're <laughs> That's okay. right. We're doing good. Be in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, another little story. These all have stories. I think all music has a story. I think our whole life is just one story after another. We're telling stories as we create stories. We're creating a story right now, and then tomorrow we'll say, hey, remember what we did last night? That was really something, wasn't it? <laughs> and it could be a good, in a good way or a bad way. <laughs> this story is, um, goes back to uh, my grandmother. I had an opportunity to assist my grandmother in her last days, and uh, last years actually, for a few years into her last days. So I had the opportunity to see what it was to live the uh, lifestyle of an octogenarian. 
and uh, it's very quiet and it's very simple. And so I had an opportunity to really learn how to be still. And while I was there, I was checking out her bookshelf. And on the bookshelf was this one book. And I pulled it out and I flipped through it and I noticed that it was dog-eared and highlighted all through the whole book. And uh, I thought, well, this is worth a read because she's really thought something about this book. Never saw it before. It's called A Course in Miracles. I don't know if anybody has read A Course in Miracles, yeah. but that's what it was. That's what it is. And so I was flip I'm not flipping through it. I read it from beginning to end during my time there. We had a lot of time to read. So I read the whole book and was very drawn to it. Right. Really resonated with the whole thing. And uh, so, you know, and I also remember as I was with her, uh, because we had developed a rapport with each other over the time I was reading this book, and she was very clear about what she wanted in her life as well. And so we were having her birthday uh, in August of 2007. And she looked at me very matter-of-factly, and she said, I am not living until 90. And we had, a, we had enough rapport that I could look at her back, and I'd say, well, you better hurry up, because you're 89. <laughs> <laughs> we chuckled about that, and she died a month later. She, was, she is the most conscious the experience of the most conscious transition I've ever seen and one that I aspire to in my life. As I was spending my time with her, there came the, the knowing that I had deep within myself that she's going to be dying pretty soon. She's going to die pretty soon. And I tried to share this with my father, a loving man. Um, and he would, I'd say, I think it's going to be, she's going to die pretty soon. He'd say, well, she's not sick. And I said, I know she's not sick. Well, how do you know she's going to die? I said, I don't know. And Dad never said this with his words in my life ever. But he, in, he, he, he gave me the message often when I would say something that didn't make sense to him. He'd roll his eyes as if to say, idiot. <laughs> you know? I, was, I don't know. I don't know. But I think it's going to happen soon. And it did. And it happened soon. So she taught me to pay attention. So years later, this was actually during the pandemic. Pandamdemic. <laughs> that I wrote this song. Because I woke up one morning in that season of our sequesteredness and immediately had the inspiration write a song about loose the world and I knew to listen to that so I got up and I walked in but I didn't know what that meant loose the world loose the world and I was thinking of the pandemic and I was sitting in my place where I do my thinking and writing and meditating and I'm just sitting with it to see what that must mean. It seemed very important. So uh, I then remembered that in A Course in Miracles, there is a chapter that says, I loose the world from all I thought it was. And I said, that's what the song is about. So I dove into that chapter, and if you've read the course, as some of you have said you had, how are you going to make lyrics out of that? It's pretty deep. I have to read most sentences two or three times. But I did, because it just showed itself as I read through it. So this is called Loose the World. What keeps the world in chains but your beliefs? And what can save the 
world except yourself Change but your mind On what you want to see And all the world Must change accordingly I remain as God created me And loose the world From all I thought it was I am real Because the world is not And I would choose my own reality You've enslaved the world with all your fears Stay a prisoner to your beliefs There is no world apart from what you wish And herein lies your ultimate Present now remains the only time. Here in the present is the world set free. You free the past from what you thought before. The future free from ancient thoughts you see. came a time when, um, several years ago, I had an opportunity to be doing a little bit of work with Jay, but not too much. With his help and Chris's help and River Gregarian's help, we released an album in February called Loose the World. And uh, so we had that opportunity to work together. It was a great blessing and, and, and just a pleasure. But before that, um, I had an opportunity again to uh, work with a, a, a beautiful man who uh, was a dear friend of mine for most of my adult life. And um, he, uh, he had a diagnosis of, uh, of a brain tumor. And uh, so I do spend time with people that don't die immediately. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> but there's a lot of that in all of our lives, and I'm just acknowledging that. So it's a way to really... For me, it's a way that I have become aware of what it means to be present and to be right where we are. So I asked Jay if he would help me out. I was having a hard time. I wanted to write a song for him, for Tom is his name. Matter of fact, he goes by Big Tom. Tom was also 
a very tall, big man. And uh, so much so that he was bigger than me. And so we both had that bare energy. And uh, so when I could go up and give him a bear hug, it was great fun. <laughs> because I, didn't, I wasn't afraid I was going <laughs> to fracture his back or something. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm kind of very gentle, you know. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. <laughs> but he, I could do that. And it, 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 it was a bromance. I'm, I'm comfortable saying that. We called each other brother all the time. I love you, man. We did that a lot. So I think that, uh, that goes as a bromance. So it was. But I had a hard time figuring out how to write a song for him. So I sat on Jay's porch, told him some stories, and I said, what do you think? You think you can help me with this song? And he said, I think I can help you with this song. And in short order, he called me and said, it's done. So he helped me in a great way. He wrote the whole song. It was really good. <laughs> and it's perfect. So he wrote this song. And this song deals with um, my Reader's Digest. In this song is a reference to the fact when Tom and I found ourselves on a river raft in the middle of a river that we'd never been on before in the middle of the night. Now, there's a lot of layers to that story, but it ain't a good thing to be on a river at, in the middle of the night that you've never been on. It's not good to be on a river in a boat at night anyway, much less knowing it. <laughs> okay. So I wouldn't say, I would say it was not safe. I won't judge it as good or bad. Also, we played some softball together. We were on a team uh, called the Weirdos because we did weird things in the dugout and on the field, and uh, we just were a weird bunch of people, and we loved calling ourselves Weirdos. So he was part of all of that. So I think I'm telling you all this because I'm giving you an opportunity to con consider for yourself as we sing this song, what is the song that someone would write for you? Or what would be the song you would have someone write for you in your life? Just because. Why not? If you have an idea about doing that, Jay will take your list at the door on the way out because he's really good at it. So this was called A Mountain of a Man. Ready? It takes so long time Return to the level of the ground But a mountain of a man Has his time upon the land And he leaves his giant footprints all around Big Tom on the river The winding stream he rides What's around the next bend He'll know when he arrives Everything is in its place And nothing stands still The woods of Maine They call his name As do the Blue Ridge Hills We arrived at home somehow The river took us there Just, Just like how I said it would My friend, the gentle bear Floating through the darkness, I was glad I was with Tom. I could hear his voice ahead, curious and calm. It takes a long time for a mountain to return to the level of the ground. But a mountain of a man has his time upon the land and he leaves his giant footprints all around Willie's on the pitcher's mound one leg made of wood the weirdo's on a winning streak just like Tom said we would everything's important and nothing really matters Go on and take your swings in life We're born to be the batters Every heartbeat echoes Each act of kindness shines Every chapter's ending 
holds the next one in its lines. Everything except the soul and the stories fade away. Hey, I'm great, man. It's a beautiful day. That's what Tom would say. It takes a long time for a mountain to return to the level of the ground. But a mountain of a man has his time upon the land, and he leaves his giant footprints all around. A big time. Thanks, y'all. Well, speaking of a mountain of a man, it is my sincere pleasure to bring to the stage Chris Rosser, ladies and gentlemen. How you guys doing? Good. All right. So how about that Jay Brown and Greg Lathrop? 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 Both of them, yeah. <laughs> I know all those songs. I was singing along. 
Got to hear them a lot in the studio. So I'm going to try a brand new song. I haven't had any brand new songs for a while, so it feels good to say that. I have a bunch of new songs. I'm going to try another new song on you. What's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> I have two boys, and my youngest son is 16. His name is Jaron, and he just had a heart transplant six months ago, back in December. Very big deal. He's doing great. This is a song about uh, an experience he had in the hospital the couple weeks after the surgery. Apparently it's not too uncommon to have some auditory hallucinations. So. 
Jaron woke up early with a new heart in his chest. His old one was gray and tired and limped along at best. They flew the new one over, frozen in its case. The surgeon spent 12 hours putting it in place. He started to hear singing far off to the right, echoing and reverb morning and night. It takes a couple of hazy days of looking around to figure out that no one else is hearing that sweet sound he hears singing in his head he hears singing in his head maybe it's an angel choir or maybe it's the meds but he hears singing in his head always the same melody playing on Complete with lyrics and a modern drum beat. His mom and dad told him to write down the words. He sang along into his phone to record what he heard. But he hears singing in his head. He hears singing in his head. But maybe it's an angel choir, or maybe it's the meds. But he hears singing in his head I'm going to call up the one and only, the magnificent Jay Brown. Give him a big hand. We put together this song after countless rehearsals. We just drilled it. This is a song I wrote uh, after uh, getting snowed in one winter. And I'd had a bunch of things scheduled and everything got canceled and I was just home by myself. And I don't know if you've ever had this happen, but when you have a lot of time to yourself, suddenly the dark thoughts start coming in. So this is a kind of a depressing song, but I, w I was, uh, at the same time I was listening to this African guitar player, Lionel Lueke, who plays this really great uh, upbeat music. So this is a... Uh, Depressing song with some very happy music. <laughs> Don't be fooled, though. Sort of like you are my sunshine. Wind and snow outside my window keep on moving, falling. Hoping, waiting for this day, for this day. No one calling, no one wanting me to fix something. Alone to drift away, drift away. Voices drowning out the emptiness in my ears. Ghosts are singing all day long all day long 
Every careless word repeating and repeating to hear Everyone I ever wronged, ever wronged Oh no, I, oh no I don't do lonely well Darling people in my phone but no one will answer Running busy with their busy, busy lives All this empty space to fill Growing like a cancer Till there's nowhere left to hide Nowhere to hide Oh no I Oh no I don't do I'll let uh, Chris tell you a little bit about this instrument here if, if he'd like to. Uh, my version is that he was sitting on the front porch playing the banjo one day and <laughs> a UFO must have overheard it and zoomed down and the alien came down and said, hey, uh, I'll trade you this for that. <laughs> it's pretty much an alien banjo, yeah. It's a uh, dotar, it has 17 strings from India. You play it by sliding on your fingernails on your left hand. Just took a little getting used Piece to it. I know just enough Hindi to know that do means two. And how many strings you said it has on? Seventeen, 17 strings on it. Makes guitar means strings. <laughs> So I'm going to do a song with Chris here. Uh, this is a song that I wrote for my father-in-law, the incomparable Dr. Sethi. Although he's quick to point out that this song was actually a thinly veiled love song to his daughter. But um, I'm uh, extremely, got extremely lucky in the father-in-law department. He's one of my all-time favorite people. And I think he may even say the same thing about me now. Uh, <laughs> but it took him a while to come around. Uh, Around the time that the grandchildren arrived, uh, things started turning around. But luckily for me, he's, he's very much a music lover uh, and a great open-hearted guy. And uh, this song actually did, did a good bit to uh, solidify our, our bond. Uh, the first time I played it for him, he, he actually openly wept. And uh, I had to point out that those tears were a good bit different from the tears that he cried when he first was getting to know me. But <laughs> This is called Dr. Sethi.
doctor said the your eyes and mine are fixed upon the same star though we watch from worlds apart the sweetest sound to ever fill my humble home is humming still within your heart I recall the tears you cried the night your child became my bride Seven times around the flame we share a life a love a name And though the years have moved her many miles When you see her now you see your smiling child Doctor said that you could have done what so many have done before. You could have locked your daughter's door. But when I asked with humble heart and hair a mess, something made you tell me yes. This child you said is touched by God. I said I felt this all along You asked what I provide for her I said she'd be my pride and work And though these callous hands no riches hold Each year a little more our garden grows
doctor said this So many times I stumble through my words to you Hoping not to sound untrue But after all There's only one thing that I want to say to you Thank you Chris Rosser on the dotar, folks. How about that? <clears throat> I was going over to the 88 tar, I guess. This is, next one is a song I wrote for my kids. Uh, at the time, there were two of them. Now there's three. But the um, name of this song is Rainbow Children, and I got that name from my precious mom, who would often refer to our children as Rainbow Children. That's well, why I'm glad I have Chris here. <laughs> President, I have a say, and I'll say it like he just turned four. How did finding meaning get this hard? I walked out to feel the day and to hear a little morning song. They sing it out as they jump and play, and they never heard a singing wrong. There is something that makes it feel all right when every other little thing feels wrong. Rainbow children. Dancing in the yard I thought about what the world could be If it didn't have to be so tough Hungry people had their needs for free And all the wealthy said enough's enough People say it isn't nature's way But you'd never see a greedy wolf How did greedy people get this far? If you take out their BS for true Well, I guess that that's the true you get And if they get you in the game you threw And you're losing any way you bet Something true that I bear witness to A son and daughter sunny day duet Rainbow children dancing in the yard Rainbow children dancing in the yard
Michelle. Thank you. So if we could bring back up the one and only Greg Lathrop to the stage. Yeah. So um, one of the traditions of local live, we like to do sort of a spontaneous, um, what, how should we say it? Jamming isn't quite the right word for it, but collaboration, sort of spontaneous collaboration. Um, and that's what we're going to do now, and uh, Greg will tell you a little bit about it. I'm going to speak on this one and play on that one because that's what I was told to do. So. <laughs> yeah, so I uh, saw the dotar come out and gives me a sense of old music. This is old music here in these mountains. This is an old Native American flute. And uh, so we're going to jam. I don't know. That's probably the right word. We're going to jam a little bit. The jam that I'm going to offer you to consider, though, is this. If you haven't been listening with your hearts so far, maybe this would be a good time to consider that, and not just your ears. And the way to do that is to come right fully into the moment, not be worried about what's going to happen tomorrow or what happened yesterday. Come into here. Come into yourself. Come in. Acknowledge where you are. Allow where you are. There's nowhere to go. There's nothing to do in this moment. Nothing. The only place we can actually create in this world is now. So come into the now. The world needs our open hearts. I know this to be true. So this is an opportunity for us to do that. Open up and allow. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be in the moment. Or aren't we? We're, yeah. Are we? <laughs> I'm already there. Oh, okay, good. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we're going to see what happens. His dear elder used to say to me, Greg, pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention you want to live a beautiful life. So pay attention because you're not going to hear this again, the three of us like this. Well, we're being recorded though. <laughs> you're not going to hear it live. <laughs> not like this. Okay? So come on into the moment. Thank you. 
Jay Brown on the Vina? Yeah, Vina. Vina. Yeah. Another lovely old, old instrument. How many strings does that one this have? One, this one has uh, 21, 21 strings. 21 strings. Yeah. Yours is 17. 17. Oh. Jeez. You win. <laughs> 88 on the piano there. Yeah, there. <laughs> So the backstory on this song is simple. This was an opportunity that the creator said, I want you to know something. You're not alone. This is called The Power of We. Power of 
Oui. Jay Brown and Chris Rosser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got time for a country song and then a. Do we? I think so. Where are we at? On that. We got ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. You want you want to do a uh, yeah? Let's do a country song. Yeah. You want to? We're going all around the world. That's right. I don't know the backstory on this, except I like it. The cover song, Toby Keith wrote this, and it's called Don't Let the Old Man In. Don't let the old man in, I want to live some more, and can't leave it up to
many moons I have lived, my body's weathered and worn. Ask yourself how old you'd be if you didn't know the day you were born. When he rides up on his horse and you feel that cold, bitter wind, look out your window and smile. Don't let the old man in. Look out your window and smile. Don't let the old man in. Toby Keith. So this last one's a cover too, and it's gonna be the one we wrap up with. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Right. Just make sure we're all on the same page. We're gonna do our best to honor uh, late great Richie Havens. I'm a little anxious about it, but we're gonna do it. You know, we're gonna be brave here. We're gonna try it. I don't know. I don't know. It's Richie Havens, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Woodstock, White Horse, you know. We can do it. He wrote a song called Freedom. He wrote Freedom. I want you to remember, Freedom. The world needs our open hearts. It needs for us to be free. And let's rise it up in here a little bit, maybe. And uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, let's do something. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Long, long. I said freedom, freedom, sing with us, freedom, 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 freedom. Sometimes I feel like I'm almost gone. Sometimes I feel like I'm almost gone Sometimes I feel Like I'm almost gone Long, long way Way from home, oh Lord Clap your hands Clap your hands Clap your hands Clap your hands Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. I got a telephone in my bosom and I can call him up from my heart. I got a telephone in my bosom and I can call him up from my heart. When I need my brother, I say brother. When I need my sister, I say sister, when I need my father, I say father, when I need my mother, I say mother, 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 not afraid to say it, not afraid to say it, not afraid to say it, pray. Now we're going into extended verse.
down in my soul I need you Deep down in Give it away, give it away, give it away. Give it up for Greg Lathrop, ladies and gentlemen. The amazing Chris Rosser. Chris Rosser. Jay Brown. Jay Brown. Something I'm learning here. These two men right here bringing me right along. They're bringing me along. And what I've learned, what it means to be successful, surround yourself with experts. Right over there. Two of them, experts. Jay Brown and Chris Rowe. I don't Rowe. know about that, but thank you. <laughs> thank you for the opportunity, Jay. Yeah. Take it out. Thanks for being here, folks. Thanks for listening out there. And uh, once again, as always, thank you to Bob Hinkle. We, we love him. And uh, thanks for, for having this great place, the White Horse. Thank you, Rebecca, and all the great crew for doing this. And uh, once again, let you know this local live happens the first and third Monday of every month. It may not always be this good, but it's always really good. So uh, thank you so much, folks. Thanks for joining us for this special edition of Local Live, performed live at Whitehorse Black Mountain in Black Mountain, North Carolina. This is the only online uh, edition of this program that we'll be doing. So if you enjoyed it, you're going to have to come here in person. Tell all your friends. I'm Rebecca, Ho uh, Rebecca Hillgraves. I'm the director and producer of the online series. Claire Hoke is your audio engineer. Jessica Fox is key grip and front of house engineer. Leah Flood is our intern tonight. We're so glad you were here. We hope you join us again soon. Good night now. Is that